in another work-related phone call on Monday, October 26, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful call conference entitled, We All Have a Duty to Protect Ourselves and Others, Part 1 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English. <laughs> yes, yes, Master. I hope you like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, actually, I haven't done nothing. It's just the time is too too tight. It is as it is. Okay, didn't do anything to it. No, no time to even put it up or make it <laughs> decoration. I'm just joking, just to relax you. How is everybody doing? Very well, very well, very well Master. Very good. Thank you, Master. Always oh, good. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, yes. Yeah, I like that. I like that. The girls, you can hear? Yes, Master. Wow. It's getting high-tech nowadays. Better. <laughs> Much better now, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, 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 I like that. I like that. <laughs> I love you both, girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master. Ah, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fit for me again, you know, to do everything all by myself. Yeah. Okay. I uh, heard that you have some questions. That's why I call you. Mm. Yes, Master. You can start now if you want. Master, um, many countries report that young people are staying away from alcohol and intoxicants. We've also seen kids doing fundraising activities for charities and animals. Mm. Master, is this because higher level beings are being born in our planet at this time? Yeah, sure. But also because uh, people are more aware, you know, of the harmful effect of these things. And nowadays, because of the pandemic, it wakes people up. This is the only one good thing that comes out of it that wakes people up and makes them do more research into something that is more important to their well-being, yeah? yeah. Yes. They want yes. to know what caused the pandemic, how can uh, they avoid it? Because researchers also stated that uh, the smokers, the drinkers are more prone, you know, to get uh, infection from the uh, COVID-19. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. and it's harder for them to recover if they do get. So people are more aware now. That's one good thing that comes out of it, and I'm glad. For the long term, all this measurement is good for people, okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes and the people who get COVID-19, if they have to go, they go. And I help their souls, whatever souls I can help, okay? If they're repentant, if they're praying in their heart. I'm sure at this time of the world's trouble and at their time of, uh, you know, of death, they would be praying and repenting. And this is also good. So it's easier for me to help them. Yes, okay. Yeah, to help their souls. It's more important. We die sooner or later, but if your soul is liberated, that is the best thing. So the pandemic somehow wakes, wakes many people up. Okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. Wakes the souls up. I'm not saying that people dying is good, but nevertheless, their souls will be helped. Okay? Yes, thank you, Master. Master. All right. Thank you. Most people, when they are in such a situation, even though they are atheists before, they would be praying to God. Yes. And that might help them in the deliverance of their soul. That's easier for their soul to be rescued, to be liberated. Got that? Understand, yeah. Master. Okay. Master, COVID-19 affects all corners of the globe. As the chief of the World Health Organization puts it, we fight a common enemy. We have seen more cohesive efforts in the world, for example, death relief of underprivileged nations and collaboration of medical treatment research, etc. 
Will this trend continue and the world be a tight-knit community? Of course, of course. Once they get into the habit of uh, doing good things, yeah? Yes. A good thing, bad thing is a habit. Once people get used to it and realize the goodness of it, they will continue, okay? Oh. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, Not yes, just uh, uh, the governments, but the people. People go out and feed the strays. People go out to help the neighbors go out of their way. Not that they go out and contact, but they find some way to help people. Like I saw some uh, some clips, you know, while I'm scanning the news for you, that people find very <laughs> uh, innovative ways to help neighbors. Like they put food in a, in a basket and then the neighbor will just uh, pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or, or whatever they need, you know, they do that. It's very good, yes. Everyone is uh, kind of more awakened now and find their own goodness, nature within, and that's very good for, you know, for the master power to help them, okay? Thank you, Master. Master. Yeah. master, as science and technology advances, we're learning more and more about the universe. Yes. Will this prompt people to be interested in spirituality and seek the truth? Ah. <laughs> ah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you the same question. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we hope, we pray, okay? Yes, yes we pray. Master. Because in many other planets, you know, in the universes, uh, people are very, very highly advanced in uh, technology and science, and all sorts of material comfort. But that doesn't make them, uh, uh, you know, eager to seek any spiritual way of life, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Master, when we pray for world vegan world peace, should mm. we visualize the world we would like to see? For example, a vegan world where humans live in harmony with nature, clean oceans and rivers, and fields and forests of organic fruit and vegetables to feed the world. On the other hand, nowadays some people are concerned about the increase of large corporations that create non-organic GMO crops, use harmful chemicals to control pests, and make patents on GMO seeds that prevent communities from having control of their own food supply. The food industry is often connected with the pharmaceutical industry that profits from the sale of chemicals in farming, which in turn causes diseases that require vaccinations and a population dependent on medicine. Yeah, I know. With such corporations taking control of the world's food supply, including lab-grown and vegan meats, is this something we should be worried about as we move forward into a vegan future? Or will it be that once the world goes vegan and the killing energy is lifted, then everything will naturally correct itself no matter what? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, we can just pray, okay? Okay. Yes, Master. Because uh, as the world is uh, more uh, uplifted in their consciousness, maybe those things will become less and less, yeah? Yes. yes, yes. yes and people might be more aware of what is good and what is not, yeah? Yes. 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 Right now, uh, we cannot take care of all the problems. This world will have one set of problems or another set of problems because people are not highly developed uh, spiritually, okay? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But as long as the world becomes vegan and uh, the animals suffer less, okay, no more suffering and no more war, then people will have more conscience, yeah, awakened, and more more intelligence, regained, yeah? Yes. 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 And then we hope that the war is getting better and better. <laughs> I'm just telling you, on one hand, I was crying so much, <sighs> almost daily for the animals that are suffering whenever I see this cruelty. But on the other hand, if I'm out of that, I always realize that this world is really just a very illusionary nature and uh, we just do what we can for those who are in a quagmire of sorrow and suffering and ignorance. And then they will be awakened 
from this illusionary dream, and then they will, uh, you know, seek more spiritual treatment for their soul. What I mean is for their spiritual consciousness, for their development of the inside, of their real self, you know. Otherwise, the mind and the brain and the influence around them will make them blind, deaf, and dumb to all the truth, even if it's laid bare right in front of them. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. Master. So we, we tackle the world peace and world vegan, and then other things will develop accordingly. Uh, our world will become better and better. Hmm? Okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. master. Master, the Trump administration has announced Sudan and Israel have agreed to normalize relations. Mm. Earlier, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates established relations with Israel. Yeah. Could these events signal the states of the Middle East and the North Africa region are also ready for peace, just like in Korea? Well, they are already almost <laughs> ready. Many of them are ready. Just hope other follow suit, okay? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, don't ask me to look into the crystal and predict the future. I don't want to keep telling you. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. You will see it, okay? I told you already. You will see it. when the time comes. You will see what happens. All right? Understood. Yes, yes, master. master. Next one. Master, the lower heavens gods attain their positions based on merit. Mm. Merit gave a compassionless Brahma the power to create the three worlds and rule over them. Mm. Does heaven mandate that a being must have a certain amount of God's love before they can create and rule? Oh, there are different things altogether. They have, but limited, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it's just like uh, you, the so-called disciples, studying with me, yeah? Yes. And I told you, okay, you have to do this, you do that. Not have to, but you should, like, being vegan, being compassionate, being loving and kind, but they are trying, okay? Yes. yes you will be trying. But that doesn't mean that it's enough to be worthy. Yes. yes. Except relying on the Master's grace to go up. The love that you have is so thin. I mean, the so-called disciples, so thin, that they don't even realize that they don't have it, okay? Yes, yes I understand. So the Brahman himself also wants to have love, wants to do what the gods have advised him. But that doesn't mean his love is enough. Yes, yes, Not enough. Besides, there are also lower heavens who don't have love at all, okay? And then so they will create other things that tempt humans or and animals to do wrong. Then they continue to control their souls and control the population forever so that these souls will never be liberated and go up somewhere higher in the universe. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Mm -hmm. yes. It's just like even Brahman himself, he doesn't want to relinquish his uh, uh, domain. And he argued with me, he said he wants to rule 93.9 worlds. Mm. Well, well. I told you before, eh? Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah, yeah. I said, but your ruling is a mess. And other gods is below you also doing bad things to keep the souls in prison forever. And uh, whatever they did wrong is also part of your scheme, your fault, to make them do wrong. So I don't like your system. You either forsake it, follow me, or cooperate with me to rescue the souls, including yours, then I let you rule. But he did not want it. Greed makes him not want to relinquish his power because once he is in it, he forgets. Just like sometimes uh, people elected a, a leader and they, they came in maybe with a big, big ideal. They think they have ideals or good intentions. But once they are in that power, they keep forgetting it or, or exercise very little of their idealistic power idealistic uh, origin and they they would just go with the flow and their subordinates everybody keep feeding them with all the negative ideas and information that make them forget and then they would just do wrong forget their original ideals 
this is not only Brahman alone, but there's also all the lower gods in the lower levels, like uh, the second god and the astral god. Yes. yes. And uh, the demons, the chief of the demons around astral... F- because the astral level, for example, some parts are heaven, some parts are hell, and demons. Therefore, the influence, uh, it depends if the god has enough power to subdue it. It is not always, because the gods sometimes lose the battle to the demons. They're more overwhelming, because they already infuse the humans with all kinds of uh, bad, uh, negative uh, qualities. So the humans also help them, invisibly or unknowingly. And then they will uh, rely on all this negative force that backing them up to beat the, the heavenly god in the astral level as well. And that influences also the second level. And the Brahman, due to his want to have power over many worlds, also will not have enough love and wisdom to refuse them or to defeat them. And that's how they're all falling together. Now, for example, in our world, we have good people, yeah? Yes. But we also have bad people. Hmm? Yes. 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 We have good governments and also not good governments. We have good presidents and also not good presidents. Therefore, our world is also a mixture of good and bad. Same like the astral level. They have heaven and hell. You got it now? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir.